We're students from UMass Lowell. My name is Laura. I'm Sarah. I'm Jensi. I'm Ahmed. And today we're going to do our slice project as part of our fluid mechanics class. And today we're going to demonstrate how a submarine basically functions and also to demonstrate one of the basic principles in fluid mechanics, which is the Archimedes principle. So the official definition of Archimedes principle is a law of physics stating that upward buoyant force exerted on a body immersed in fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. Archimedes principle is an important and underlying concept in the field of fluid mechanics. It was named after its discoverer, Archimedes of Syracuse. In other words, any object wholly or partially immersed in a fluid pushes the fluid out of the way known as displacement. At the same time, the object is pushed back up by a force equal to the weight of how much fluid was displaced by the object. The buoyant force is always upward or opposite gravity. The pressure on submerged objects is greater on the parts that are mostly deeply submerged. Archimedes principle applies to objects of all densities. If an object's density is greater than that of the fluid, the buoyant force is less, therefore the object will sink. And vice versa, if the object's density is less than that of the fluid, the buoyant force is high therefore the object will float. A submarine utilizes this principle when it pumps water and air in and out to rise or sink in the water. So we gathered the following materials for our submarine project. First thing is a big transparent container. And we have some bottles over here, different sizes. We use coins and plastic bags for weights. We're gonna use some adhesive tape to make a seal, and we've got bendy straws to blow air into the bottles, and some balloons to act as the ballast. We're going to use air from this air compressor over here just to make things easier. Hi, so now we're going to set up for the demonstration. So now you've got your supplies, so first you're going to take the bottle caps from each of the bottles and you're going to drill a hole. Um, you can use you know, a drill or like a, a really sharp knife to make the hole uh, good sizable. So whatever size straw that you're using, it'll go through easily, okay? Here is an example of what we've done. So you're going to take the bottle and you're going to poke three holes on the side. The purpose of these holes is so that the water will go in to make sure that the bottle will sink to the bottom of the container. Next, you take two straws, you connect them together to make it long. Uh, make sure you use tape in the middle so that uh, water doesn't get in. So once the bottle reaches the bottom, the straw will be exposed at the top so that the pump is connected together so it doesn't get wet. All right, and also uh, when you do connect the bottle, you have to first strum the uh, balloon through the hole and then tape it around so that water does not get in just like that when you're done just push the balloon back into the bottle and just seal it tight after this setup you're going to take the weights and we're just going to tape it to the bottom of the bottle so that it will help keep the bottle down at the bottom um, so that when we do blow up the balloon, it will just go up by itself. Um. All right, so now we have our setup complete. We've got a straw ready, uh, sealed into the bottle with a balloon attached to it. And we've got our weight taped down to the end of our submarine. And we're going to put it into our tub of water. There's uh, some holes right here in the bottom of the submarine. And we're going to let the water just go ahead and fill up our container. Now that the submarine is filled up with water, uh, we're going to connect the compressor to the uh, straw and then put air into the balloon and then you'll see the submarine floating. Um, here we go. Okay, so now for the second bottle, we're going to do the 16 ounce one. Um, as you saw on the first uh, demonstration, we did the 11 ounce bottle and you saw how quickly that went up. So let's see how fast the 16 ounce bottle goes up. 
So now we're just going to fill, uh, push it to the bottom and make sure that the bottle is filled up with water. So now we're going to blow air into the 16 ounce bottle and see how fast it goes up. So you've seen the previous two bottles and now we're going to try this big bottle. Okay, now we, uh, that the bottle is filled up with water, we're going to put air into the balloon and um, watch the floating happen. So in conclusion, Archimedes principle is nothing more than a law describing what we know as floating or buoyancy. When using Archimedes principle, it's clear that a change in mass of an object affects how much liquid has to be displaced. You saw that when the plastic bottles with water, the bottle sank to the bottom of the container. This demonstrated the increase of the submarine's mass. The downward gravitational force on the submarine increased and the submarine began to sink. As we fill air into the balloons, it pushes the water out of the bottles and then the submarine's mass changes. Since air is less dense than water, the submarine begins to flow like a normal ship. Careful balancing of the water ballast enables the craft to stay at any chosen depth. So in essence, in order for the ship to float, the ship's weight or displacement has to be less than or equal to the water being displaced. Um, this helps explain why such a large ship like a submarine is able to float. Thank you. Thank you. Bye! the camera not the mirror face. <clears throat> Hi, we're students of UMass Lowell and today we are doing a slice project as part of our fluid mechanics class. We are going to demonstrate how a basic submarine function I'm sorry, you need to stop. He's over here laughing. 